This is the story of a chilling death sentence. A death sentence passed not because you have harmed someone or killed someone, not because you have a fatal disease, but because you are born a girl. Born a girl, born to die. Ten million girls are sentenced to death in India every year. बच्चियों को उसके नीचे ऐसे उसकी गर्दन इसके नीचे दाब दो जल्दी से उसके ऊपर आप बैठ जा ऐसे तो दो तीन बार ऐसे कर दो छिक छिक करके नहीं लड़की मर जाएगी बांध के उसके मुंह पर देते थे असली अपने झूठ क्या बोले हाँ इले नाक पे रख देते दो मिनट मुंह पे नाक पे रख देते तो दस मिनट के अंदर अंदर सांस उठ जाता लड़की तो कोई क्या होना नहीं चाहिए बस खाए लड़की को खाए को जन्म बिचारे को जेह कर रहे हो फिर जाए कहाँ कर रहे हो जेह कर रहे हो जेह कर रहे हो पढ़ी हो तो त्याग सही तो समाल लगाती पने जी कितने पैर सुन रहे हैं सही गाते हैं फिर सानु ब्यावनी भी ओके आने अने लड़कियां के मिलकर सी ब्याव मांगे ये इस घर के ऑपरेशन कराने के लिए आते हैं इसके पापा बोलने लगे कि नहीं जैसे आगे आगे हलात हैं उसके वजह से पर जरूरी नहीं है ज्यादा लड़की friends who've got it done, sex determination test and then terminated or maybe kept it because it was a boy. The birth of a son is greeted with joy and celebration. Here in Rajasthan, a thali is beaten to announce to the village that Jaswant Kumar has just become the proud father of a baby boy. But the birth of a girl means nothing but sorrow. In this remote village in Morena district of Madhya Pradesh, Kailasi Bai's mind no doubt churns with the thought of the harsh realities of her existence. Her husband works as a daily wage labourer and the little he earns has to stretch to feed and clothe five children. The harsh logistics of survival force tough choices on desperate parents. A daughter is an investment with little returns, and so daughters become dispensable. Kailasi Bai's sons go out and earn, but her elder daughter Basanti dropped out of school to take care of her young brothers. She also has to fetch and carry for her mother. बेकार लड़की तो कोई होना नहीं चाहिए बस खाए लड़की को खाए को जन्म बिचारे को जेह कर रहे हो फिर जाए कहाँ कर रहे हो जेह कर रहे हो जेह कर रहे हो पढ़े वो तो त्याग सही तो समाल लगाती पने जी कितने पैर सुन रहे हैं सही बात है और पढ़े ना ने कुपड़ है मगी वाप ने पढ़ाई ना ने जी वहाँ टकर रहे हैं वहाँ सानी करेंगे भी ऐसे हैं फिर ही गोवर थापेंगे जानती हैं गोवर थापे वो इसलिए बारेंगे खड़ना सुबह जाएंगे ताई कितना बुरा है जी बात है रामप्यारी one more unproductive mouth to feed and heavy expenses for the family. So it's not surprising that many despondent mothers quickly extinguish the lives of their luckless babies. 
अगर एक से दूसरी है गई बिना की तमाकू ही दे तमाकू ही दे बिना की तमाकू तो ना मरी दूसरा तमाकू ही दे बिना तो ना मरी तो दल ही काटे मेरी फाव बैठ गई वाह पे बिने के लड़के और ना मारते तो बिने के घर के रोटी छोड़ा देते रोटी भी नहीं खाते लड़की मार दे कंधे ले आएंगे दो लाख रुपया दे वे का है तो बिने इसकी माँ है मानना पत्ता है राम प्यारी हसेल्फ हैज़ ए लार्ज फैमिली थ्री मैरिड सन्स एंड देयर फैमिलीज हु लिव विथ हर एंड टू डॉटर्स बट थ्री ऑफ अर बेबी गर्ल्स डाइड सून आफ्टर दे वर बोर्न इट्स व्हाट हैपेंस टू मोस्ट बेबी गर्ल्स लड़की पैदा हुई तो मैंने कहा हाथ में लड़कियां ले तो बाबा की लड़की छूट जाती है एक लड़की होगी हां माता ही कछु कर रही हो रोटी पर रही हो तो भूखे रोटी भूखे छूट जाती है लड़की होगी भैया मैंने नहीं खाना बिना स्वाद और मेरे के लड़का है हो गया कहां से की थरिया बजा दी जाओ वो तो लड़का हो गया हैं या या दाद दे हर ओन डॉटर इन लॉ हैज टू यंग गर्ल्स ईच बर्थ हैज ब्रॉट द फैमिली क्लोजर टू डिस्पेयर Today many of the younger women in the village go to ultrasound clinics in nearby Gwalior. For most parents, it's a question of economics. Isme lagta hai 15 yaar laga de. Matlab 15 se laga de. Wahan mein ladka ke safai mein aur wahan mein 2 lakh lag rahe hain tai bane safai kar rahe hain 2 lakh kam tilaye hain. Ta 15 se nahi kaam karde hazar mein bane dag dag se mil gaye. Maine ki ladki ki safai kara di. In Rajasthan, Chhel Kaur's family will probably run into debt when the time comes for her surviving daughters to marry. व्यक्ति पैदा होती है तो का तो उसको 20 तोला सोनो देना पड़ता है। उसके 20 तोला सोने के आगे लाख रुपए का तो दाई जा दो लाख का कोई टेबल है, कुर्सी है, टीवी है, सोफा सेट है सब चाहिए। जो इस देश देश भी नहीं देते तो उसके ससुराल लाड महीना बोलते कि तेरी माँ ने रखा क्यों? जो तेरे को देश देने का जो पोज नहीं था तो तेरे को तेरी माँ ने क्यों रखा जन्म से क्यों जेर नहीं पाया चेल्स हस्बैंड लान सिंह हैज सीन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स ऑफ ड्राउट प्ले हैवक ऑन द प्रिकेरियस अर्निंग्स अ डॉटर मींस डाउरी मैरिज कॉस्ट्स इट आल्सो मींस एंडलेस डिमांड्स ऑफ इन लॉज हु हैव डन द पेरेंट्स अ फेवर बाय टेकिंग द गर्ल ऑफ द हैंड्स बच्ची अच्छा लड़का देख के बगैर तो देनी नहीं पड़ती है वो अच्छे लड़के को पचास देने के लिए तैयार हो जाते हैं इसलिए वो मांग रहे पैसे पैसे तो होते नहीं है इसलिए फिर दुख पाते हैं मजबूरी से मारना पड़ता है बाकी तो आप कह सकते हमको कोई मारना तो अच्छा नहीं मानते हम क्या करें मजबूरी है तो बड़ी बात हो सो द कम्युनिटी द लोकल विलेज स्कूल प्रोवाइड सम बेसिक एजुकेशन टू चिल्ड्रन अप टू क्लास फाइव पर इट्स द काइंड ऑफ स्कूलिंग दैट सीम्स टू है to retired village school teachers like dhan singh and uday singh who still cling to the old beliefs ladki aayi yani patthar aaya sahi hai patthar aaya patthar se sir phod hai ye patthar to sir phodne ka aur kya kaam aata hai to ladki ka aana aur ghar ka rona barabar ha jaise koi sab mar gaye ghar ke koi thali baaje nahi koi halwa nahi koi mithai nahi koi vitran nahi सब बैठे हैं सोच में डूबे हुए क्यों मर मर रहे हो क्यों सोच फिकर कर रहे हो तो कि साहब लड़का नहीं हुआ लड़की हो घर प्रदेश हो गए अब समुद्र तो यहाँ से समुद्र अपने यहाँ से गुजरात से है गुजरात के पूरे तटीय क्षेत्र इन पड़ोसी देशों से गांव का प्रवेश ऐसा है कि बच्चे और उनकी माए छोटे छोटे भाई है ना तो उनको खिला रही है कभी झाड़ू लगा रही हैं कोई खाना बना रही हैं माँ की हेल्प करवाती इसलिए नहीं आ पाती कुछ अब खेतों के काम चलते तो वहाँ चली जाती हैं लड़कियाँ भाई उनके आते हैं लड़कियाँ नहीं आ पाती पहले यहाँ पे एक प्रोग्राम चला था महिलाओं को पढ़ाना पढ़ना वढ़ना तो हम घर में महिलाओं को जाते उनसे कहते अरे तो उनके घर वाले जो हस्बैंड वगैरह उनके होते हैं तो टॉइंट कसते क्या वो बन रही है कलेक्टर के एस एफ में जाके भर्ती करती हैं ऐसी बातें बोलते हैं गाँव के लोग It is difficult to imagine poverty as a contributing factor here in flourishing Punjab. But mixed with the ample harvest of crop is a second harvest of death. 
Fatehgarh Sahib district is the graveyard of baby girls with the lowest sex ratio in the country. The last census recorded only 754 girls for every 1000 boys under 5 years of age. Narendra Kaur teaches little kids at the local Anganwadi. It is one way to augment her family income. They do not own land. Her husband is a tailor and they have three daughters and one young son. Although she is reluctant to admit it, it is likely that she had at least one pregnancy terminated before her son was born. A major concern now is how the family will collect the dowry for the daughter's marriages. Fortunately for them, they have a son. For Narendra Kaur's husband, Major Singh, it was a stitch in time. Not only does a son earn and add to the family income, but the dowry received at the time of his marriage offsets to some extent the financial burden of the daughter's marriage expenses. Narendra's oldest daughter, 15-year-old Sukhpreet Kaur, goes to high school. But it is unlikely that she or any of her classmates will be able to break free from the bonds of convention. Satwant Kaur, a midwife in Narendra's village Bhadali Ala Singh, has seen much of the pain and sorrow that accompanies childbirth. She has often prayed that the young women she attends to would only bear sons. They would be spared some of the pain of being born a woman. पैदा होने से पहले चाहते हैं भी लड़का हो तो अच्छा है। यहाँ कर दिए लड़के को देते हैं। एक लड़की होगी तो होगी पहली, पहले तो एक भी नहीं, एक होगी तो दूसरी नहीं होगी। और मतलब किसको बताएंगे भी नहीं? चार मिनट को तो बताएंगे भी नहीं बच्चा है या नहीं? जब मतलब अल्टासम करवा रही थी बारह but Satwant Kaur can afford to feel this way. Her household characterizes the ideal that every Punjabi family in this village aspires to. Her home is well equipped with all the modern conveniences. She has two sons, both are educated, and they recently bought a tractor for three and a half lakhs to work their 40 bigas of land. This greed for acquisition wins over the need for humanity in Punjab. In Haryana too, greed murders need. Rigid gender stereotyping ensures that girls who survive are deprived of education and even proper nutrition. <laughs> Such discrimination is prevalent across the country. Nor has urbanization done much to alter these attitudes. Suman Dogra, married to a small trader in a Punjab town, has one daughter, 15 years of age. Suman went through several sex determination tests and subsequent abortions before her young son was born. I didn't want to abortion. I was not happy. But my father said that no. 
जैसे आगे आगे हालात हैं उसके वजह से जरूरी नहीं है ज्यादा लड़की फॉर ऑल हर एजुकेशन एंड कंपेरिटिव एफ्लुएंस सुमन एटीट्यूड आर नो डिफरेंट टू दोज ऑफ द इलिटरेट विलेज वेमेन मोर ओवर लाइक मोस्ट वेमेन इन इंडिया डिसीशन लाइक दीज आर नॉट हर्स टू बी मेड जब प्रेशर ज्यादा पड़ा चारों तरफ से फिर कुछ अपने खुद को भी महसूस हुआ कि नहीं जरूरी है फिर चांस देखा तो फिर लड़का हुआ डॉक्टर सविता जैन वर्किंग इन अल्ट्रासाउंड लैब इज ऑफन अप्रोच बाय वुमेन डेस्परेट फॉर अ सन वी आर डूइंग अल्ट्रासाउंड बेसिकली टू सी आइदर इट्स फीमेल और मेल द बेबी शुड बी नॉर्मल दैट वे वी वर सींग द सेक्स बट नाउ पर्सन वॉन्ट कि इफ इट्स अ मेल बेबी वी विल कंटिन्यू द प्रेगनेंसी इफ इट विल बी अ फीमेल बेबी वी विल टर्मिनेट द प्रेगनेंसी देर इज नो गिल्ट इन्वॉल्व एज द बेबी इज नेवर बॉर्न मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोवाइड्स एन ईजी वे आउट ऑफ द मॉरल डिलेमा ऑफ हैविंग टू किल अनादर लिविंग बींग टूडे अल्ट्रासाउंड क्लिनिक्स प्रोलिफरेट इवन इन स्मॉल टाउन एंड सेमी अर्बन एरियाज ऑपरेटेड बाई अनस्क्रूपलेस प्रैक्टिशनर्स विद एन आई फॉर अ क्विक पक legally we feel very helpless since there is no evidence left by the medical practitioners number of tests are being conducted in the hospitals but they never issue any certificate they just say orally there are two statements if there is male child they will say okay go and bring the sweets enjoy and if there is female they will say go for abortion it's a lucrative business the doctors rationalize as a means of keeping down the population and saving a baby girl from a miserable life in my clinic i think we are refusing 15 to 20 couples every month who are coming to ask for the sex determination and everybody is having different problem they keep on crying they touch your feet please do sex determination please do some ladies who are coming alone saying their husband will leave them if they will not produce a male baby because they are already having three to four female child some says their in-laws will not allow them to stay back in the house if they will not get a male baby some are saying we all are we are sisters only my elder sister is having females so there are a stigma on our family ki we are only producing females babies that's why they want even in the first pregnancy also the sex determination In New Delhi, Anuradha Bawa is a sophisticated convent educated wife of a jeweler. She has two daughters and is currently expecting a third child. She already knows that this one will be a boy. Bye bye. See you. So I was just hoping that I should have a boy this time. but never got any sex determination test done because it's not allowed nowadays but in my last ultrasound i was very curious so i asked my doctor so he told me that it's a boy only anuradha admits that many of her friends have gone through the tests and sought abortions when they found they were carrying baby girls most find themselves overwhelmed by relentless demands for dowry With her husband running the family business, she believes that today's small family norm dictates that they must have a son to take it over one day. People are having lesser kids. Like people used to have five, six. They used to go to five, six. Like I was the fifth child, but now since they are having two kids, at the maximum three kids, so they expect. They really, you know, feel they should have a. boy out of two kids at least one boy dr sharda jain a gynecologist in delhi has to deal with this problem every day they are obsessed to have a male child firstly during pregnancy now they knowing that the law is there and they want a stage before that and probably they want to also not be feel very guilty about it that they have not got a female child aborted they are they have so much of pressure today that they are they don't mind spending money x y separation is mushrooming in in the city uh, and average is that in those clinics is that they are getting about 5 to 10 requests per day so it it is thriving 
Despite the wider consequences, rich or poor, urban or rural, educated or illiterate, the desperation to bear sons remains unchanged. It is an enormous problem which threatens to go out of proportion. SK Singh, who heads an NGO that aims at women's development and empowerment, warns of the disastrous consequences of this trend. In some societies, people are finding difficult to find a wife. So they are actually going out of their communities and buying women. You know, you won't believe it. I know, I know certain families where women have been bought from Bihar, women have been bought from Rajasthan for, for 20,000, for 25,000 rupees. They've been brought here, they've been kept as wife. And, and I also know some wives who've been, who've been sold more than once. Yet the mindless destruction of baby girls continues, regardless of constitutional guarantees of the right to life. Female infanticide certainly on increase. Certainly on increase because the the census of 2001 reveals that very very clearly. The number now um, dowry deaths. I think it is on it is on increase. It is on increase, and the expectations are actually growing. And, and somehow the the husband and and husband's family they keep demanding things even after marriage. So th this is a continuous, continuous pressure building on the parents or the wife that she, you know, she they should pr give a scooter, they should give a fridge, and they should supply this and all. And people get actually tired. Wife beating on increase, sexual harassment of women on increase, and uh, maltreatment of women after consumption of alcohol certainly on increase, and all that. I mean, I know is on increase. It seems ironic that a society which so idealizes the mother goddess can place such little value on the worth of its women. Uh, Worshipping women power and, and, and uh, uh, you know, in all its manifestations and which is very much a part of, of the Indian way of life in, in whichever religion or custom or tradition, it, it's very ingrained and it is all pervasive. But still, um, it, it's very strange to see that uh, the, the very uh, creation of that female power which is, I would say, manifest in, in a girl being born is not revered and, and is not unwanted. Uh, I still don't have the answers to uh, you know, the exact reasons why they happen and, and what uh, the socio-religious aspects are. Uh, but um, I feel that uh, male dominance and patriarchy and, and uh, the need to subjugate from the male within a family or within a society uh, is still manifest through female infanticide or feticide and causes one of that. The law provides some safeguards, but these are not enough. In a country where abortion under certain circumstances is legal, it is difficult to enforce the law. However, the Supreme Court has now stepped in. It forbids the use of technology to determine the sex of an unborn child. It also forbids medical termination of pregnancies where the fetus is known to be female. Also, all ultrasound machines have to be registered and doctors found guilty of violating these regulations can face disciplinary action, which includes suspension from medical practice. Gitanjali Goel, a lawyer and human rights activist, has been assisting the authorities in identifying cases of female feticide and advising them on appropriate action. When social welfare measures are concerned, legislation is slightly difficult to implement, but still legislation has to be there to support other measures. Ultimately, mindset of people has to be changed, but this has to go hand in hand with legislation because till people have that fear of law also, they will not stop. You know, at least that fear is there once a few doctors are convicted. At present, there are no convictions, but once a few doctors get convicted, maybe the others will be scared to do the tests. And slowly, the community would also start realizing that they can also be penalized if they go in for these tests. Dr. Daya is a medical practitioner and a social activist in Rohtak. 
one of the worst affected districts. He feels that change can only come about when our system of education becomes more sensitive to the aspirations of an enlightened society. I feel that the education has become a method of earning livelihood. It has not become uh, aroused a modern thought. In the modern thought means that the development of a civic society where individual has got a right. I, as I told you that a woman in villages don't have her name. So the, her individuality has not taken place. So a civic society where civic rights are there, where I can speak, I can have my wish. <laughs> the dice are heavily loaded against women in India. Both the government and voluntary sectors are making efforts to reverse the trend. Social workers, activists, educators and health professionals working in women's development have their work cut out for them. जब मैं पहले आई थी तो महिलाओं की स्थिति ऐसी थी इतनी दयनीय थी कि है ना मैंने जब वो गेट होता है ना घर का उससे बाहर नहीं निकल सकती थी और पर्दे में रहना और मैंने घर के अंदर ही रहना तो जब मैं उनके पास बातचीत की तो उनसे मेरे को बातों से ऐसा महसूस हुआ कि इधर इतनी छेड़छाड़ मारपीट आए दिन बलात्कार ये सब देखने को मिला लेकिन जब हम लोगों ने बातचीत की तो महिलाएँ भी चाहती हैं कि भाई हमको आगे आना चाहिए हमारे भी कुछ अधिकार हैं हमको मालूम होना चाहिए हम उसका आ, उसका प्रयोग करें बट फॉर गर्ल्स टू बी बॉर्न इन द वूम दे मस्ट फर्स्ट बी बॉर्न इन द माइंड माँ बाप चाहे तो लड़की को भी उतना दे सकते हैं लेकिन जितना लड़की को परंतु लड़की के मन में ये हमेशा रहता है कि मुझे कम प्यार दिया है और लड़की लड़के को ज्यादा हाँ चाहते कि हम लड़का हो जाए खूब काम करें घर में देखें अब विवाह ये था कि आगे जाके बेटा ही हमारा नाम करेगा पर आजकल वो तो रहा नहीं है कि बेटा ही नाम कमाए बेटियाँ भी करती हैं वही काम बेटे करते हैं वही काम बेटियाँ करती हैं आज अपन क्यों सोचा है इसकी बेटा जरूरी है लड़कियाँ तो चाहती हैं कि हम भी खूब पढ़ें खूब अच्छी नौकरी करें कॉलेज जाएं, स्कूल जाएं। चेंज तो हो सकता है बिल्कुल लेकिन थोड़ा सा समय लगेगा क्योंकि उनकी जो विचार हैं इतने दिनों से उसको थोड़ा थोड़ा हटाने में टाइम तो लगेगा फॉर द गर्ल इन इंडिया टू लिव दी ओल्ड माइंड सेट मस्ट डाई